Good everyone, we're going to be working this week on just animating uh, Blake from uh, the belly button up. Um, what we have here um, is Blake. Um, I think last class uh, you guys finished up uh, the face. Um, we will start uh, rendering that out. I think uh, you guys know how to set that up. Uh, import this with that rendering template that I gave you. Um, you can probably set that up at the end of the class if you want. Um, again, if you wanted to change the look of uh, Blake, I think you go into one of these. Let's see if we can find it. Should be in the channel editor. Layers. Okay, layers, and you pull this down. I'm sorry. Uh, and you can change. Uh, his pants to his shirt to whatever you want. You can actually wear a tie. You can even actually animate his tie if you want. Alright, I do not want to see any uh, any major animation, but you can do a little slight uh, movement uh, for the belly, uh, but let's not get into any feet movement or anything like that. Uh, just again, just kind of crop it. You can go ahead and get your perspective and set it up for just right there, just above the belly button. All right, so some of the things we did, we worked just on the GUI of, of the eyes, the face, uh, eyebrows, um, mouth, uh, different movements, and even the nose, and I think you can animate the ear. Let's uh, select it, um, probably is uh, W uh, or E, you probably rotate. Uh, this to animate the ear if you need to and the big thing I think we got to at the very last um, Final animations were just the very very subtle head movements be careful when you uh, do head movements with this character um, He is very elongated. So uh, if you move too Quick it can look really bad. Um, he's not a round head. So be careful with that do very subtle movements If you're gonna do a lot of movements do more um, side to side I think when it gets when you're whipping this back and forth it can look really really um, bad so be very subtle with that so again when you're working uh, with the character um, you want subtle uh, movements uh, shifting of the shoulders to describe some movements uh, you can also do some rotational values here if you want him to rotate uh, and also look at another person if he's engaged with a conversation you can move both to turn that with, uh, each one with subtle movements on each end you can do um, animate each part of the arm if you want uh, basically uh, it's forced here it will not bend in the other uh, rotation it's just like our body it's a hinged uh, movement again it will not uh, rotate on any other axis now the arm here is a ball socket uh, that will move in all different directions. I'm just hitting Apple Z or Command Z to go back. Also the wrist is also kind of a ball socket. It's a little bit more complex than just a hinge uh, joint like our elbows. And uh, I don't want you guys to get into um, animating the fingers. Um, you can go in here numerically if you want to have a clenched fist or close it up a little bit. Uh, you can go up here, hint, control, I think, and or numerically, I think it's control or option. I'm doing a horrible job. Or you can just do it numerically. Oh, let's just do it numerically. Hit uh, four. You see the pinky moved. Go four here. Or negative four. Oops. Okay, so you can see how you can index. That's the beginning of the finger, and keep moving down to the secondary part of the index finger, to negative eight or seven. So you can uh, slowly move this. There is a way of hitting control and middle mouse up here, so you don't have to do it numerically, but it is a pain to uh, animate uh, Blake. So this is not a good um, rig for animating, so we're not going to do a lot of 
motions. Just do broad hands if you want to clench it. Keep it clenched the whole time or have it half clenched is fine. Okay, so don't worry about the hand. I'm more interested in, in simple upper, upper body movements and uh, arm movements. Okay, so here you can see it says FK and IK. We can actually uh, click on um, FK. I think we can change it to FK. Let's see, I think it's here. Give me a second to figure this out. We'll hit one, enter, and uh, I really don't want you guys to get into um, FK. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain uh, to animate. It's um, you're basically grabbing the paddle of the hand here and bending it. You can also rotate uh, to animate. Uh, to move it around. If you want to give that a shot, you feel a little bit more comfortable with this uh, type of animation. You don't have full control of it. So if you move it around and you want your elbow to point down or up, um, you can. Uh, this is what this uh, piece is right here. So this will uh, do rotational or, or pivot your elbow in the direction you want. And you can uh, key that, hit S to keyframe that. All right, so you either go FK, once you set up FK or IK, um, you kind of have to stick with that. Uh, there's no turning back, so um, so make sure um, that you select it, see which one you really want. But I'm, like again, I'd rather you guys keep it um, as uh, FK. All right, so you can see one side you can keep as FK and the other as inverse chromatic. So this is uh, FK, and again, this is uh, inverse chromatic. Uh, there are two different ways of animating, but again, I'd rather you keep it where you can rotate each of these axes. Uh, it's a better way of animating for first-time animators, so uh, work on that. Um, I do want you guys to work on 30 to 40 seconds. You're going to work on this on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, you're just going to drag uh, your sound into here. Um, hit play. Should be able to hear it. If you're not able to hear it, this is great that it's not showing up uh, sound. Just go down onto the sound. Um, so we got our Mufacon voiceover, France uh, voiceover, and playback speed. Uh, I'm going to go real time. Hit play again. Okay, so you see we don't have enough time. Uh, you're going to type in uh, 400, 500, however long uh, 40 frames is. Uh, I really don't know. The German army took the village of Mafakan. Okay, again, when you're doing this, you can uh, shorten it down um, to a certain uh, section. You can also roll this down once you get it to a small format. The German army took the village. Right, German army, so you can... Uh, look at the highs and lows of this to help you animate. Uh, you can also double this up um, in sound. Somewhere uh, in the settings you can make this a little bit uh, larger if you're not happy with it. Let me show you since I'm talking about with the Maya preferences. We go to sound and we can go up to uh, Bottom all sound noises. Time slider. So the height you can go up to two uh, or four times. So if you really like to see uh, the height of the sound and uh, where the stopping of the sound and the, the phrasing of the next word, um, this is a nice tool. Um, I don't think it has a hot key, but it's in a uh, time slider under height of the time slider. Um, I haven't shown you get this uh, to you guys, but this is a really good thing to have. I'm going to keep it at 2. I think it's a little too big for 4 for me. Uh, put in your sound. Make sure it's 40 seconds. Again, remember how to do this. See the overall length, and also you can shorten it to see more of a hyper or, or a micro view of that. Um, you really want to act it out. You're going to put your sound in there. If it's from a movie, watch the movie over and over. Look at all the gestures that they use for the body. Uh, if you don't have um, something from a movie that you can watch, 
act it out. Um, you can use photo booth. I'm not sure if they're on the IMAX in the classroom, but look at uh, yourself, photo booth, or have a friend sitting next to you record you and really uh, lip sync it and act it out. And the more you act it out, exaggerate, the more you exaggerate, that's uh, better for animation. You can always pull back from that. But don't uh, act, you know, very subtle. I mean, really go out there and act it out so you can have some really nice acting cues for the arms and the body and the head movements to really accentuate uh, the mouth movement. Okay? So good luck. Again, you're doing from belly button up. So those are both arms, a little bit of the shimmy of the shoulders, a little bit of movement of the belly to move around. And again, you're doing lip syncing also. Lip syncing, you're, you're, you're going to be doing that all over again, but now we're adding just a little bit more belly button up. Give this a shot. We're going to do it for two days, and I will see you guys next week on Monday. Good luck.